baby great white shark scene! For the first time ever, a baby great white has been captured on camera. Learn all about the mystery of sharks and the drama of shark science. Starting in 3, 2, 1. Hey everybody, I'm Animal Boy and welcome to Amazing Animal News, the show that brings you happy news about jump, 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 animals! I jump because we're talking about sharks today. If I have learned anything from going out into nature and exploring, it's always bring a camera since you never know if you will make the discovery of the decade. On July 9th, 2023, wildlife photographer Carlos Guamo and doctorate student Philip Stearns were flying a drone off the coast of Southern California. And no, they were not riding it. Sorry, Pete. Oh, man! They flew that drone a quarter mile offshore before spotting the world's most famous fish, the Great White Shark. Despite what pop culture wants you to believe, great white sharks aren't that deadly of animals. Don't get me wrong, they can still easily take you out to dinner and of life if you get too close and you know they mistake you for a seal. But since the 1500s, great whites have only killed 59 people! Just 59! To put that into perspective, cows kill 22 people every year! Now that I think about it, I don't know if that means that sharks are just happy-go-lucky animals. Or if the chances of you getting murdered by a cow are surprisingly high. Anyway, Guamo and Stearns noticed something unusual about this here great white shark. For one, it was very, very short. It was about 5 feet long, as opposed to the average 15 feet long that great white sharks normally get. And it also had this weird milky fluid thingy mawatsit surrounding it. So they used their science brains, and they thoughted... Thoughted? Thoughted that this might be a newly born great white shark! But wait, I thought fish came from eggs! You might be thinking, or typing, or screaming. Well, sharks are unique because within the shark family, you can find at least one species for all three major methods of birthing. And we are about to talk about these three major methods of birthing. So if you are watching with little ones right now, and they still think they came from the stork, First off, hi, and second off, you should watch this video, where Taz and I visit Mayaka State Park and see some real-life wood storks in the wild. Who knows? And maybe it was the one that carried you. Had your chance? Cool. Let's talk about how babies emerge. The first type of birthing is oviparous, aka egg laying. This is reserved for animals such as turtles, birds, and bamboo sharks. In this, the mother lays an egg containing a yolk sac and an embryo. The embryo then feeds on the yolk sac, and then the baby gets big and strong, and hatches a brand new baby animal! Sharks are super cool because they lay these super cool egg cases that sometimes wash up on the beach. They are called mermaid purses. Why would a mermaid be carrying a baby shark in their purse? I don't know. Maybe to help them find things. Hey, baby? Baby! You know where my phone is? Eh. Baby! Baby, baby, yeah, baby, 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 yeah. Baby! Oh, well, um, tell me if you see it. Baby! There is also viviparous birth, aka live birthing. It involves animals such as aphids, placental mammals, and hammerhead sharks. In this, an embryo fully develops inside the mother, and then it is born a live baby animal! The last type of birth is ovoviviparous, aka the weird one. This contains animals such as anacondas and what's important to us today, great white sharks. In this, the mother lays her eggs inside of her and then they hatch, still inside of her. In the case of great white sharks, the babies feed on unfertilized eggs and uterine milk and once their bellies are full, they emerge into the world as baby sharks. Since great white sharks are ovoviviparous, it is quite possible that the uterine milk adhered to the pup before it was born, giving it this flaky fluid appearance. 
If this theory is correct, it would mean that this is the first ever baby great white shark to be captured alive on camera. It is the first, this is the first, there hasn't been one before, hopefully there'll be one after, but this is the first! To celebrate this monumental achievement, Tazen and Weird Owl have been hired by the Backstreet Coys. Animal Boy! Yeah, Mr. Monster? Uh, Weird Owl is sick today. They asked if I could help instead. Oh. Cool. Good luck, my friend. Thank you. Well then, Tazen and Mr. Monster have been hired by the Backstreet Coys to write them a new song about baby sharks. Mr. Monster, I didn't know you were a musician. I ain't. But the Backstreet Coys, they owed me a favor. I got their sister off the hook. Oh, man. Is she a fish? Yeah. She was addicted to worms. Whoa. Terrible thing. Yeah. I once had this woman who catfished me. Turns out she was a flounder. Ah, they're always flounders. Never an actual catfish. I know. Anyway, let's, let's, let's break this song. All I know is it's got to be about a shark that's a baby. And I don't think anything like that's ever been done before on the internet. That so That seems almost impossible. It does, I know. Outrageous, even. I know, I don't think anyone will watch it, but let's see what we can do. So I've got this one thought. Mm -hmm. It goes like this. Shark baby, do, 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 do. Shark baby, do, 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 do. Shark baby, do, 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 do. What do you think? That, my friend, you might have a hit on your hand. Really? Yeah, but you gotta do one thing. Okay. I think you should switch those words around. Got switch it. the words, scramble them words, and you have yourself a hit. You got it. Let's do it. Words, cool. words being switched now as we speak. Yeah, I'll get the coys. You get the lasagna. Got it. And now, the moment you've been waiting for, the Backstream Coys. Do sharks beep 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 beep? Do sharks beep 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 beep? Do sharks beep 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 beep? Do sharks beep beep? Sharks don't beep 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 beep. Sharks don't beep 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 beep. Sharks don't beep 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 beep. Sharks don't beep Sharks are fishes. Sharks are fishes. Sharks are fishes. Sharks are fish. We are fishes. Sharks are fishes. Sharks are fish. We are fishes. Sharks are fish. We are fishes. We are fish. We are fish. You are fish. You are fish. We 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 are nor was it captured to check its age. Some have pointed out that since this shark was all by itself, with no mother or siblings in sight, it's possible it just has an unknown skin condition that gives it this flaky appearance. To me though, that sort of gets into explaining an unknown with another unknown, and those are never the most sound of arguments. Plus, this shark was thin, short, and had roundish fins, which are all characteristics of actual baby sharks. And in the days leading up to this sighting, there was a lot of adult female great white sharks roaming the area, and it's in the same general geographic area and time period that scientists believe great white sharks to give birth in. Basically, more signs point to this being an actual great white baby shark than not being an actual great white baby shark. And I hope for its sake too that it's an actual baby great white shark, because an unknown skin condition, that is rough. They're gonna have to get like some fish dermatologists on that. Wait a second! Clean the rest are actual fish dermatologists! There's an actual fish that's like a dermatologist! They should get them on that! You know, if this is not a baby shark. This has caused a divide in the shark science community, because some people believe that great white sharks give birth in the open ocean, and others believe they give birth close to shore, like this one. And then there is a third group that believes that this little baby right here traveled from the open ocean to the shore. So yeah, it can get a little overwhelming with all this speculation and stuff. But I don't mind it. Actually, I find it super exciting. Even with the most famous fish in the sea, not everything is known. And that's awesome. Even with the most popular animals, we can still learn so much more that we don't know already. Scientific discovery is not speeding down, my friend. If anything, it is speeding up like a marlin. Have a good day. And remember, folks, if you like this video, then you'll love this one, where we talk about the shark fin ban. 
which isn't really being upholded right now. It's not working that well, so you should learn about it so you can uphold it. And, you know, just learn about sharks in general. See ya!